Welcome back to a series of beer. Yeah. Fat guys drinking. George and Sean here with this guy. Okay. <laughs> and we are going to do the clown shoes. Twelve beers of Christmas. All right, we're going to start off on this Yeehaw Double Dry Hot New England Style IPA. Very interesting. Um, artwork here we have a, a, a gentleman surfing a um, looks like pink unicorn with a lasso of truth bringing along a cactus that has a penguin stuck in it with um, an otter on his head but what's the, what's the pink thing it's just like a unicorn are you sure it's a unicorn not my little pony of some kind yes. same difference we'll, we'll bring Alice down here to expert opinion shout out to the bronies Pretty hazy. Hazy. Mm -hmm. Citrus interesting. Yeah. Yeah, citrus and uh, like mango or papaya. No, papaya. Ah, yeah, yeah, papaya. Yeah. It has flavor up front and then it just clears out yeah. with a dryness or... Yeah, yeah, it's, it smells really sweet. It doesn't taste sweet. It's got flavor. It's like a sugarless papaya. Yeah. Because you can definitely taste the papaya in there. And then it just, you're right, it just disappears. Yeah, really quick. Um, but I think it's because there's no sweetness at all. Yeah. I love the way it smells. It smells great. This is a fantastic. I mean, this is kind of like a, I imagine like a tropical breakfast, you know? Well, I think they always make interesting stuff. I'm trying to remember the last time we did the clown shoes. Up, you know? it, it was when I think I brought it back from Asheville. It was the one with the weird like mushrooms on it. There was a drug reference or something. We got it finally. It took us a while. I don't remember that, but okay. Oh no, the cherry feet. That's what it was. It was the we tried to figure out why is he got cherries on his feet, and we realized they're clown shoes. A bunch of idiots. It's ten not out of ten. A drug reference at all. There was a drug reference in one of them. Oh, okay. Well. Either way, it yeah. smells really good. I mean, it's not not drinkable. It's, it's it's very easy to drink. I think. Uh, I just think it probably doesn't do it justice because it took a lot more work than it got out of it. Yeah, seven percent. Yeah. It's just again, it's a it's a really flat taste of papaya. It smells interesting though. Yeah. But it smells great. Yeah. All right, and now onto Reindeer Games, a Bavarian-style IPA, and this one has a furious bull-like reindeer with a cape and clown shoes, you'll notice, and some D-bag in a jet-powered sleigh. What does D-bag stand for? That's something you should ask your teacher. I will. This one's darker. It's still hazy, but definitely a more amber. This is an IPA? Yeah, Bavarian style though. Oh. So I assume Bavarian style is this uh, more kind of like Bach like, which of course is a lager, but maybe it's a mix. With bush. It doesn't have much aroma though. No, a little, right. Maybe a little malty. Again, that would yeah. make sense if we were going to a Bach style. And yeah, it is a little malty. Oh yeah, it's definitely malty. Yeah. How do you have a multi IPA? Well, it's yeah. Bavarian style. Apparently this. Um, Actually, I think it tastes interesting. Yeah, I keep wanting to comment, but I, I think at the end of the day, this is a multi beer that's kind of got a little hot presence. I wouldn't call it an IPA though, because it's not strong in the IPA, and it's not yeah. strong on any hop aroma. It's just a multi beer with some hops, like some bitterness. Yeah. I actually think it's pretty good. Like, if this was at a like at a bar or something like that, I'd, I'd do that. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. This is actually uh, this, is, this it's, it's my favorite clown shoes. Yeah. Now I haven't had a lot of clown shoes. Let me just throw this out here real quick. We only had a few clown shoes, but so far out of this, this one I'm going. I could order this again. Yeah. It, it, it'd be weird to see it on the menu though. Like you're looking at the beer menu, there are the beer list. You wouldn't think to go to this. 
like Bavarian style IPA. What the hell is that? Well, but this is actually good taste. I think if I saw Bavarian style IPA, I'd be like, what is this? I'd try it, right? Mm -hmm. But if I saw Reindeer Games, I'd be like, I don't have time for more Christmas beers. You know, right? Uh, sure. So the name of the beer is the problem. Bavarian style IPA. The style, I'd be like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now to this uh, pecan pie porter. Yeah. Strange picture on the front. Uh, ooh, wow, that's definitely a porter. Goodness gracious. Let's have another job. Motor oil. Yeah, I would say it's a uh, Genghis Khan furiously destroying some sort of pie. I assume pecan pie. Yeah, that's strange. Okay, so let's, and because we're from Georgia, we will call it pecan, but occasionally I'll say pecan, just so I don't hear noise from uh, Louisiana and Texas. Or it's, you could just be a douche and say pecan, pecan pie. No one says that. All right. Oh, well. I just smell alcohol. I smell alcohol and no, some malt, but I don't smell the pecan. This smells like a shop. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, like if there's a rusty shop. 8%, you know? yeah. Huh. That's a strong porter. Porters usually don't have that kind of alcohol content. Most porters, again, porters are like a stout. They're actually more in alcohol because it's got a lot of body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it tastes a little like pecan. Yeah. Very alcohol forward. Uh, yeah, alcohol, a little bit of sweetness, but it's not malt sweetness, and I think that's what this uh, pecan pie is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Would you call it a porter? It is a porter. No oh, shit, but like. I'm, I'm saying just like okay, so I, I, it's, it seems very just alcohol forward and it does seem like a strong ale or a dark ale, like these lesser known styles, so to speak. But it's got enough roastiness. I'd say it probably does push into the porter area. Uh, it's not a stout at all because it just doesn't have the body to support a stout, right? Yeah. Somebody right now is going, oh my gosh, I know a porter at school. You know, right? It doesn't have <laughs> enough body to support a stout. Now, <laughs> um, uh, don't be the whole the ladies' porters, okay? Uh, but I, as I said, I think, um, I mean, it is. It's a porter. It's a sweet porter. It's not my bag, baby. It's interesting, but... All right, let's do this Space Cake Devil IPA. And this, I'd say, is a more traditional one of theirs. Not, nothing extreme, just a Spaceman, Superman kind of thing. I see that? All right, so we're back to a more hazy orange, amber orange. Yeah. Okay, and now this smells again, kind of like the first one, a little bit of papaya in there. Is that yeast? I mean, there's some yeast in there too, but the yeah. papaya, I think, is what I'm smelling. A slightly sweet, slightly mild, but, you know, flavor. Yeah. But unlike the first beer, this one, the taste carries through. The same aroma comes into the taste. Oh, yeah. No, this one, this one is good. This one I... tastes like it smells. Yeah. I mean, papaya. Keep it down, cameraman. Um, no, no, this is, it's, it's not sweet, but it tastes like papaya. Again, it's not a sweet papaya. It's just that papaya flavor, a light amount of bitterness. This one's easy. I yeah. like this one. I Again, like this one it's a double IPA, but it tastes like just a really good IPA. Maybe a New England style IPA. I agree. Standard, wee heavy ale. 
drill's a wee bit heavy. You are way more heavy than I. Rude. I was making a reference to the beard, and you're just rude. That's facts. It's facts? Thanks a lot. Facts. Is that an amber hazy? Yeah. Oh, real quick on the commentary. Good attack line. Kind of looks straight out of like uh, the line the witch in the wardrobe. Just attack line. Dar. And, and uh, she a, a look, fairly ginger lady. And she doesn't look a wee bit heavy at all. Yeah. She looks quite doable. Ooh, hold on. This is nice. So the smell is a little bit, I mean, I'd say orange maybe, but the taste is a very sweet malt. Oh yeah, it is strange. Like alcohol and sweet malt. Yeah. It's a wee heavy. No, this is, like, I mean, if you're looking for like a, what, like a strong ale or something of that nature, where you've got like a malty back, no hot presence really, but like a sweetness that isn't just malty sugar it's like yeah. an orangey malty yeah oh that explains the ginger lady all right well i like this one again sweet alcohol malt no hot presence yeah agree yeah fuckers maybe 2000 all right stick it to now uh bubble farm ipa and this one look this is a cute little kind of like off-world, like, space-age farm. Clown yeah. shoes is so high. No. You know what they did? They watched Total Recall and decided <laughs> to make all of their... No, but this is like a Futurama thing because it's got an actual farm. Like, Futurama, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, Total Recall, there's some elements. But at the end of the day... Listen up. You, you don't know how to pour, all right? <sighs> What I say? It's by design. A small figure can't handle it. All right. Yeah, well, this is only six and a half. Yeah, Good hazy, yellowish. <laughs> Apparently, there's a mouse in the background. <laughs> Not dust in this house. <laughs> Not the dust off that. Hazy. Got a, a, a again a sweet kind of mango papaya kind of thing. Is this is a common thing? thing. Yeah. You know, I love tasting multiple beers from the same brewery because it really tells you about the brewery, like what they like, what they like to do, what they're good at, what they're not good at. And this is a common thing, kind of a mango papaya thing. But this one, the, mm. the aroma is really strong. The flavor's not as strong. Back to our number one, I think. Almost like a piney. Yeah, there's a piney flavor, not aroma, but flavor. Yeah, it's... it's almost like a piney New England style with that fruitiness and the pineyness. Yeah. But none of it's sweet. Yeah. I mean, there's an alcohol taste, which is funny. Cause you're right. Six percent or so no, like it, hits you up, it hits you like a sweet up front and then it brings you back like but that's right isn't the sweet like in the front of the tongue i feel like sweet's the front of the tongue salty is the tip right so salty is the tip sweet is the main part and then the salty is the main part what i have no more comments Place smells like fart. <laughs> and there's a dog in the front. Will you pan it down to the dog? Pan it down to the dog. <laughs> wow. That is vicious Bjorn. Beard dog. Alright, well, either way, it's alright. It's for drinking. It's okay. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Shut the shocker for all right, we're moving on to this uh, chocolate uh, sombrero, Mexican style chocolate stout. 
it is a mouthful. Mexican. That's what Ralphie would have said. Yeah, you're right. Fabroso ghost water. That's what we should make of the ghost water beer. Here. Anything interesting with this can? He's got a step ladder. Um, oh, he has four arms. It, it's almost like a Ganesh from India. Like a Hindu god. Yeah, it looks like uh, the guy from Mortal Kombat, like, that you find at the end. Very dark. Yeah. Okay, hold on. This is, there's an interesting This is spice. chocolate stout, though. Yeah. But there's an interesting spice in here. I can't figure out what it is. It's alcohol and something else. Is it a Mexican spice? I don't know. There's a spiciness to it. There is a alcohol, and then of course there is a sweet and roastiness to it. Yeah. But none of that sweetness comes through. None of that spiciness. It becomes a very, very flat uh, stout. Yeah. This would be good with a car bomb. Yes. Yes. I mean, this is a good base beer. So the problem, again, there's a little bit, okay, now that it's sitting in my mouth, there is a little bit of the nutmeg, maybe? It's nutmeg? Now the nuts are sitting in your mouth. <laughs> no, go ahead. Yeah, there's some kind of nutmeg, which I don't think is a Mexican spice, but, you know, there's nutmeg and some light sweetness. But the rest of it's very flat on the base, so this is an interesting beer in that it becomes a little more complex with time but I other than like just using it as a base car bomb beer yeah no base car bomb I would not drink this otherwise yeah all right now the three fat guys are here uh, Thor is here with us making his first appearance yeah, his first appearance with our eagle claw fist yeah, he, he always has a strong fist. Look at this. He does. He does. He this. has a mighty Mounted. fist. Yeah. Very, very uh, hangover. Yeah. All right. Don't go in here, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 stop going somewhere. <laughs> All right, you move him back. There. Up a little bit. There we are. All right. There we are, buddy. There we are. Hang out up here. All right, I got his feet now. All right. Got it. All there. right. So this one is a less interesting can. It's just like... It looks like a weird kind of video game, like jumping through the fire. Yeah. Is the eagle claw? Yeah. Okay. Eagle claw fist. Show him the fist, buddy. There we go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 All right. Long story short, it's kind of an amber. Very Maybe amber. Yeah. Oh, it smells malty too. Yeah. Kind of like a Bavarian. Yep. Yep. A little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. I, I don't think it's actually a good one. And it's, it's weird seeing these amber IPAs. Well, you know what? I, I, again, the Bavarian one had the same concept. They were very malt forward. They were amber. And you're right. That is a different version of the IPA. Yeah. And I actually kind of like it. This is also another one I kind of like, which is a very easy drinking IPA. Very oh, yeah. amber. Yeah. yeah, right? I like it. This is good. Again, it's not hoppy. It's just malty. Yeah, I like it. But again, I like it. Like, there's a, there's a like, tad bit of hop. A little bit. Yeah. But it's malt most. Yeah, malt most, yeah. Malt what, most. What do you think, buddy? Delicious. There we go. All right. All right, muscles. All right. That was on me. Oh, sorry. All right, one man holiday, Belgian style quadruple ale. Fuck me. Okay, quadruple. Children, the man can read. We've had enough from the peanut gallery over there. Oh, you don't have your hat on. I wasn't given a hat. Well, somebody is not as popular as the rest of us. Oh, I just gained a hat. 
Do I wear it like a... No. Oh, I broke it. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> well, Amber. Almost put my Amber. Oh, very quadruple. I mean, malty and yeasty. Yeah. What does quadruple mean? So it's a Belgian style. It's I mean, I've, I've heard of the, It's a strength of. Uh, I've heard the triple. Yeah, you've got triple, you've got the double, you know, right? And so, like, if you think about it, this is a very, very strong Belgian ale. So a quadruple is just the strongest. Yeah. Okay. And let's see if it tells us the answer. Oh. Only 8%. So we're also disappointed in their quadruple. It's a malt quantity. This looks like a weird wait. There, there's a pumpkin and riding. Why did you say 2009? Yeah, riding. Um, do we have a 10 year old case of beer? I don't know. A pumpkin riding a, a Rudolph and a but he's dead wearing, baby. But he's wearing glasses that say 2009. Yeah. If we were in Switzerland, we wouldn't know what to do with this bad baby. No, Zurich. Yeah, that's where you, you that's where Switzerland is from. You can't you can't put it in the newspaper slot. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> I, I think it's, that's, that's about that's all we got, isn't it? No, I mean, oh. it's sweet and sour. Oh, that's my first taste of it, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I was talking a lot of shit. Yeah. It's sweet and sour. I mean, that's what it is. It's really weird. Hold on. It's a sweet... I don't understand these beers. Like, clown shoes, uh, it's just confusing. Clown um, shoes surprise me all the time. But again, this is not a quad to me. I mean, look, it's very malty, so the quad element of malt makes sense. But I will say, at the end of the day, it's okay. Where does the sour come in at, though? You don't taste the sour? No, I'm, I'm saying... It's the yeast. It's the element of yeast. Oh, get no. that baby out of here. It's, it's like a sweet, sour... Ye yeast does a lot. So Belgians are really driven by the yeast. That's where the real flavor comes from. Oh, this is me? Oh, fuck. Advent Party Crasher. American Imperial Stout. Oh dear. And again, this is like a comic book style can. We've had a few. We had a break. Ah, oh, motor oil. Jesus Christ. That was six days ago. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Dark brown head. Imperial stout. Let's see. It's, oh, hold on. it's actually very light roast for being an imperial stout. Eight percent. I mean, a little bit. I mean, light roast, some alcohol. It's actually a light, dark chocolate to it. I kind of like it. Yeah. For, for an imperial set, yeah. I kind of like it, yeah. It it's has a good very, flavor. It's very smooth. The roastiness doesn't have any bitterness. Yeah. It's got a light chocolate, dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, but dark chocolate. Yeah. I kind of like this one. I, I, I mean, I'm not a stout fan, but... Yeah. Yeah. This is actually really easy to drink. Yeah. A lot easier than I thought it would be. I mean, I, I went into this like, oh, really? Did say on the can? I have no ability to read this. Yeah, so, it, no, it... it uh, but it's got, a, it's got a whole comic book theme. Yeah, it... It's got a crossbow, which is really... It, it, it has the, the thing, um... Lady Santa Claus, 
Baby Yoda and... Who's this dude? Uh, uh, Ryu from Street Fighter? No. Um, Kevin is asleep. You love... Um, who's the... Bruce Lee. All right. Either Bruce way. Lee, man. Yeah. Either way. Very easy drinking Imperial stuff. Yeah. Very easy. I mean, worth yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's worth a try, yeah. This is devolving. Cheers. Yeah. Alright, now onto the Galactica, <laughs> and this is very boring. It's just a very weird Green Lantern slash hops thing. That was an oh, interesting timepiece that you had there. What, what time did you say it was? Huh. I think I've seen this one before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have. What kind of watch is that? It's just a fancy ass fucking watch. You know, I don't think it's any better than my Apple Watch. You're right. You're right. I mean, if I if I set it next to it, I said three hundred dollars for the Apple Watch. Okay, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, double IPA, twenty times. My watch is better than his. That's exactly what the Swiss, <laughs> that's exactly what the Swiss feel. So let's see. Uh, back to our hazy orange. Yeah. Oh wow, but this actually has got a wonderful smell. Again, back to that fruity New England style. Yeah. I feel like an all-American. Oh, your tiny watch? No, I gotta pay. Nineteen ninety-five <laughs> is not registering with anyone there. <laughs> yeah, this is a beautiful aroma. The taste is very clean. Light oh, bitterness, good one, yeah. light dryness at the same time. Light dryness and bitterness. Very pleasant beer. Yeah, I like it. Again, if you like IPAs, this is a great example. Dry, sweet, and bitter. Yeah. It's a good one. Alright, well, uh, I had fun. I mean, for 12 beers. And this is the Christmas pack. I know it's not Christmas. I get it. It's not Christmas. But this was what Minx had. But I am a huge fan of this space cake. And then... I like the reindeer. And then I like this Galactica. And in the words of the late, great Colonel Sanders, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. So, well, thanks for hanging out with us. Cheers. Yeah.